we are going to add integers using two color counters we're going to need to know what additive inverses are or what an additive inverse is well obviously addition is involved an inverse hopefully you recognize that as an opposite and that's what it is it's the number we add to a number to make it equal zero and additive inverses are numbers whose sum equals zero. And that's going to be important for us because as we do these two color counters we are going to be uh, looking for additive inverses or another term for it is going to be zero pair. So let's go ahead and uh, show you a couple of examples. So let's say we start with um, some positives and some negatives. How about... And the book will put these in circles with shading sometimes and one way of thinking of these is like um, atoms how they have electrons and protons and the protons are positive charge and electrons are negative charge so what we want to do is first of all write the sentence that this represents so as I count them up I have one two three four five six seven positives and this is an addition sentence, so we're going to put plus and how many negatives? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 7 plus negative 9. Now, is it okay for me to write it as negative 9 plus 7? And of course it is. I just put 7 plus 9 because I, the positives were on the left and the negatives were on the right. Well, now, uh, just like with atoms, for every proton and an electron that match up, those are a zero charge. So one way I can do this is just to mark off one positive and one negative. A positive and a 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 negative. Another positive and a negative. And a last positive and a negative. Which leaves me with two negatives. And that's my answer. So let's do another one. How about four negatives and three positives? So the way we could write this would be negative four plus three, or we could write it as three plus negative four. Now the way I normally do this is to circle all the ones that go together, meaning three positives and three negatives is what I would circle and then I have an arrow saying these go out or these kind of you know cancel each other out the solution in this case is negative one regardless of which way we write it but these are the sentences that they're going to ask you to do uh, the number sentence includes the two numbers you're adding along with the solution So in this case, we are going to create the two model counter model um, and then of course determine the sum. So for 3 plus 5, I'm going to draw you know, a container and in it I'm going to put 3 positives and 5 positives. So this models 3 plus 5, and the there's nothing to cancel out, so this has a positive 8 charge. Negative 6 plus 2, so I draw my container. I draw 6 negatives and 2 positives. Now again, you can either cross them out. I don't really like crossing them out by hand because sometimes the subtractions start to look like addition. So another thing you can do is just say, okay, there's one pair, and there's one pair. So that's another way you can show your work. And there are four negatives left over, so the charge is negative four. Seven plus negative four, again, draw my circle, seven positives. And four negatives. At this time I'm going to go ahead and draw 
a circle around four negatives and four positives and say those are gone. I'm left with three positives. So seven plus negative four equals, oop, what did I write negative? There we go, equals three positives or positive three. And finally, negative eight plus negative one. So eight negatives, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Well, nothing cancels out, obviously, so we end up with nine negatives or just negative nine. Color counters and number lines are great to help us visualize these uh, addition uh, concepts, um, but we have a rule so that we don't always have to draw a model to help us. And the rule is, there are two rules. Uh, one, well there are two situations. If the numbers have the same signs, and if the numbers have opposite signs. And to add numbers with the same signs, you ignore their signs for a minute, you just add their absolute values is what we say, it's meaning forget about whether they're positive or negative, add them together and then keep the same sign. So as an example, you know, 2 plus 7, you don't worry about whether they're positive or negative, they equal 9 and since they're both positive, it remains positive. If we had done negative 2 plus negative 7, we would have ignored the negatives for a minute and said, well, since they have the same sign, they're going to be continue in the same direction, so 7 plus 2 is 9, and since they're both negative, the answer is negative 9. Now to add numbers with opposite signs, we find the difference of their absolute values, and then keep the sign of the integer, or of the number that is farther from 0. And as an example, negative 2 plus 7 well, I see that they have different signs, so I don't worry about which one is which. For now, I just find the difference, and the difference is 5. And then I go back and decide which sign to keep. Do I take the, keep the negative or the positive? Well, the one farther from 0 is the positive 7, so I keep the positive. If it had been 2 plus negative 7, again, I see that the signs are different, so I find their difference, which is 5. And the one that's farther from 0, again, it's the 7, but it's a negative 7, so I would keep the negative. So that's our addition rule.